All right, I'm gonna try to go in one of those tombs. I don't care if they stop me, if they kick me out, but I left the last minute. Just in case we do get kicked out, it will be worth it. Like, I'm not planning to come here again. So kick me out all you want, ban me if you want. But for me to go see one of those sites, <laughs> I don't recommend this, guys. Let me stand here so I can film. Can you film me? I got you on film, bro. Security. The security is coming, eh? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna run into one of these. I'll show it to you. Yeah. This is cool. Bro. I see him. Oh, man. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm at the old Lycian city of Myra. Lots of history here. I definitely want to explore here with you guys. I will fly a drone up there. I know they don't want us to, but I'm still gonna, because since I'm here, there's no way I'm gonna miss an opportunity to take a look at this beautiful site from an aerial view. And I want to be able to share that with you guys. I don't care what the risks are, to be honest, at this moment. I've been really waiting to see this for sure. Yeah, it's an ancient city 2,500 years ago. 332 BC, Alexander the Great kind of uh, conquered this land as well. The Romans had, um, and at one point they were paying taxes to Attica, which is Athens, the ancient Athens. Let's go take a look at the theater eventually, tombs, and see what else we could find over here. Today I just want to kind of explore and do an exploration kind of video, and I hope you guys enjoy this. It's going to be a kind of like a what to do in Turkey. Let's see what's around in Turkey as well, instead of just how to get inside. And so let's go explore, guys. I'm excited for this one. I could just picture and imagine hundreds of people just entering the theater from up these stairs and walking these exact steps as we are right now. Ancient city of Myra. Turkey, Turkey, guys. It always impresses me with what I see in Turkey. So beautiful, so much history, so underrated. Let's go up those stairs eventually. But first I wanna kinda of go explore here. When you take a look at these rocks, just take a look at how sharp they were cut. For the technology that existed then, 2,500 years later, it's still standing solid. They really invested a lot of time into development and architecture. And you can see the Lycian writing. So it's in Greek alphabet, but it's actually written in, uh, in Lycian language. Marcos, I believe I could read that. So it says Marcos Arialos Arialos Hermonas, Hermonas. And uh, originally, these tombs, they were painted in red, yellow, and blue, and they were very colorful. So you can tell that the entire mountain was painted in color. And to the Lycian, tombs were really placed in beautiful sceneries because it was actually important to them. They thought of it as placing the dead in a beautiful site so they could kind of have a nice view. <laughs> and they chose the right spot because if you actually go up the mountain, you can see the entire ocean on the other hand. So these tombs, they were actually all covered at one point. Not sure if you can see that, but there's Greek writings, Lycan writings right there in Greek alphabet. So some of these tombs that actually date back to 300, 400, and 500 BC. I believe 10 of them are Lycan, 
about nine of them are Greek and three of them unknown. So they don't know from what civilization it was, but it could have been much older than 500 year BC. So originally, yes, there's probably a population or civilization here before the Lycian civilization. But this is the way they created tombs, right into the mountain. And actually in Turkey, all around the Antalya region that I've been kind of exploring recently, I see them in the side of the mountains and you can see that everywhere. But here is one of the most important sites of the Lycian civilization. This is huge. I've seen some other sites, but this one kind of overshadows the rest because it's it's actually really huge. I wonder how many people is that. So it's actually a huge theater. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. And it's in such great condition. You could probably still carry out a show over here. Tombs right at the top there incredible sight if you're ever in turkey do not miss myra it's only about 35 minutes to 40 minutes from kosh you could get here by buses we drove here on a scooter would be fun but do not miss the site it is one of the most important sites in all of the lycian history Beautiful. Some scriptures here, a statue. It's obviously defaced, but if you understand Lycan, maybe you could read that. <laughs> Thousands of years of rain and people walking on it. It still remains in great condition. They must have had some sort of a technology or something that we're not aware of today because maybe these yes these were possible but there are some sites where the rocks are so huge that even with today's technology it would take them years to to even move one for a couple of meters so like such as some sites in in lebanon balbek is the one um and there's a few other sites where it's still a mystery on how those rocks were put together but when it comes to the lycan technology look how razor sharp cut these are I'm not sure if you can see that. It's perfectly cut. It was so well built that 2,500 years later, it's still in great condition. In the modern world, it's just shortcuts. Bricks and cement. So Myra is a must see. If you get yourself by bus here, there's buses that bring you shuttles or just rent a car or come with a scooter. Today I came with my friends. We came with the car and it took us about 35 minutes. I do want to go the one of the other caves for sure. I don't care if they try to stop me, but I wouldn't usually trespass. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna capture it. I'll go back to the tombs on the other side. Uh, let's see if I could find a tomb we can enter or climb up the rocks. I'm going to try to go in one of those tombs. I don't care if they stop me, if they kick me out, but I left the last minute. Just in case we do get kicked out, I'm not planning to come here again. So kick me out all you want, ban me if you want. But for me to go see one of those sites, <laughs> I don't recommend this, guys. Okay, guys, so this is for your eyes only. I've always told you not to trespass. Disregard all that information. I'm going to go check it out. This is definitely worth it. 
that. So all in here, there used to be bodies and treasures. And as you can see, these are some Greek alphabets and it's written in the Lycan language. That's why I don't understand it even up here as well. But uh, yes, at one point there was a body, sometimes a family. We bury them right here. I see uh, kind of like a little bit of fire, smoke. So I wouldn't be surprised if it caught on fire at one point. But this is inside one of their tombs. A dream come true to actually walk in one of those. Uh, we're not supposed to be here right now. The most oldest pictures of this site were taken in 1862, but not sure when it was discovered. Guys, so this is Mo Sarji. What's up, guys? Subscribe to him on YouTube. He's the trespassing guy. This is the guy. If you're looking for some adventure, go into that. He does some cool stuff. You got to follow him, subscribe to him. Big following. Thank you. Huge fan of his as well. And it's a pleasure to have him here with me in Turkey right now. Right in front of Myra. What an ancient place. When you're with a guy like this, you're definitely going to trespass as well. And you're always breaking in. And you're breaking an entry. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, I'm going in there. Maybe they would put bodies here because that was the style. And they would also hide the family treasures in here. And this entire door would be sealed off. But over time, people broke in, stole the treasures, stole the bodies. Not sure where they are now, but they've probably been passed down the uh, generations within families. Ancient Myra. I can't believe I'm in one of their tombs right now. Incredible, guys. Very nice. There's another one right here. This must have been a child's tomb. The smaller they were, the smaller their soul. I think we're gonna try to sneak in from the behind the theater and go up the mountain and climb down. For sure, not many people have gone there. Maybe just some people that work at the site, but uh, I really wanna go explore inside one of those tombs because, but I really wanna go up there though. We'll make it. The first one taking all the risk. My boy here, Mo Sarji. Gotta get paid, man. Yeah. Like I said, when it comes to trespassing, this man, he knows what's up. <laughs> Yo, guys, subscribe to him on YouTube. You gotta risk it to get the biscuit. And my boy Sarji is going up there right now. Nobody there yet. <laughs> Yo, what's going on right now? Oh, man. They made it up. Both of them are up there. I'm gonna go next. Just careful, homie. Mountain goats, right there. That's my boy. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm next, yo. We made it into the top of the tombs. These ones are the most untouched. Yo, careful. Yo, so security's right there. Yeah, true. You're not supposed to pass those. I told you guys I made a promise and we made it happen today. Like I said earlier in the video, we're probably gonna try to climb in one of these top ones. But eventually I'm gonna fly the drone. Even drones are kind of prohibited here, but we'll yeah, we're still, we're still gonna fly it. There's no way we're gonna come to my ride and not fly a drone. Shit, you gotta Let me stand here so I can film. Can film it? I got, I got you on film, bro. Security just kind of walked right behind there. Uh, I really just wanted to make it to that one there. It looks slippery, it man. Looks Halfway. Slippery, yeah. Very slippery. Yeah, right. That's a dangerous yeah. one. It's not. That thing's right. getting closer, boys. If we see that cop car come down to the street, we go down. Careful, Mom. Oh, shit, it stopped. Maybe he stopped here. Maybe this guy's one there. Guys. I was originally gonna do it without actually recording it, but uh, I thought I'd bring you guys with me and I might as well share it with you guys as well. Because this is a sight that most of you will never get to experience. And now that you're here with me, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, because uh, I only did this for you guys.
guys so uh i climbed down that was the hardest part is climbing down my buddies are actually all the way at the top there the hardest part is coming down you're almost there bud you're almost there all right we're down now you made it yo that was an experience boys Wonderful day enjoying the scenes at Myra, the ancient city. But I wanted to end the day here from my balcony and show you guys the sunset. And actually, I also get a view of the sunrise. But take a look at that sunset. And I'm not going anywhere until I see that sunset. But what a view! What a beautiful day! It was wonderful hanging around with Mo Sarji and my buddy. That was beautiful. Myra was awesome. I truly recommend that place. So if you're looking for things to do in Turkey, one of my highly recommended places would be the Myra Ancient City, the Myra Antikenti. It's only 30 or 40 minutes from Kosh. So if you're ever in that area, make sure you check it out. But once again, guys, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe below. So this is Ari signing out. Until the next one. Bye, guys.